In this video, we're gonna go across several things not to do with a quick coupler. This could damage the coupler and affect all the mechanism inside and also render it unusable thereafter. So when you're positioning the coupler down, ideally you wanna put it onto the front hook at the bottom of here and avoid any ground contact with the rear latch as any force on this latch, you could push the cylinder back, which could damage the seals or the internal mechanism of the cylinder. Obviously this section here is a lot stronger as it's got the structural integrity through the coupler body. So when we put the coupler down, ideally we want to angle it just past pins being level. That way we can prevent the rear latch from making contact with the ground. When we place the coupler down, this is the incorrect orientation. You can see that the latch to the rear is going to make contact with the ground first and again this could cause unnecessary damage to the cylinder and the internal mechanism. So one thing not to do with the coupler is to put chains into the front hook. There is a lifting eye on the coupler which is certified for lifting. Using the front hook could cause the chains to come loose from there and the load not to be secured. So another thing to avoid is levering with the front hook or even the rear latch. So such as levering concrete up or any other debris in the ground. Again, you should be using a working tool, so an attachment such as a ripper tooth for breaking any ground up or removing anything. So another thing that you shouldn't be doing with a coupler is loading anything into the front hook, such as a road plate to carry them around. You should ideally put chains on them to move them or use a telehandler or even a set of pallet forks on a larger machine. By doing this, it would be unsafe. The load could move side to side and slip out. Also, you'd be putting quite a lot of pressure due to the leverage of the plate onto the front lock and even into the front jaw. So as we come to change attachments, the bucket we're gonna put on is not in the correct position to mount the quick coupler, as you can see. What you shouldn't do is rotate the bucket with the quick hitch in any way, as this could damage the tail hoses to the bottom of the coupler or some of the internal mechanism. It could damage things such as the lifting eye or the tail hoses, or even the link of the excavator, the cylinder and the latch inside here could be damaged as you hit the bucket. The best practice to get the bucket in the correct orientation is to consider this before removing the previous attachment. So in this instance, we can use the grading bucket at the side to rotate the bucket into a more comfortable position to be able to pick it up with the coupler. You can check this by bringing the coupler roughly to the center of the bucket. So another thing not to do with a quick coupler is to mount attachments only in the front jaw and relying on the front safety lock. Although that, this does have a front safety lock to prevent the print from ejecting from the front hook, it is not best practice to use that at all and it should not be done. You need to make sure that the rear latch is engaged and it's secured on both pins. So ideally for moving attachments, you should either secure it on both pins or alternatively use the Rhinox bucket hooks. So one thing not to do with a coupler is to dig with the front hook. I know this may sound obvious, but obviously some people would attempt to do that if they needed to dig a small narrow trench. The coupler is an intermediary attachment, which is designed to mount other attachments on. So what we would class as working tools, buckets, ripper teeth, grading buckets, grading beams, etc. So obviously by digging, you'd, you would get material that would clog up into the front latch which can prevent that from opening or functioning as it should. You're also gonna wear away the coupler, which would weaken it over time and then may deem the coupler unusable. So another thing, what you shouldn't be doing with the coupler is driving fen posting. So although the bottom of this is quite flat and it could be quite tempting to drive a post in by pushing it down or using it as a hammer, that is not what you should be doing with the coupler. You could cause stress damage to the front hook or you could even catch the rear latch, which could damage the cylinder and the internal mechanism. You should ideally be using a post driver or a cup on a hammer. For more information on how to lift with a quick coupler, see the video here. Should you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us. So all this, th so one thing not, to <laughs>